All right, so um, this video is going to be for exercises, uh, well, exercise two, where we're going to do um, some hand drafting. We're going to do the um, uh, tan tangencies number six, uh, do it by hand drawing and AutoCAD. Um, so there it is right here. So we're going to do these six exercises, and I'm going to do the one by hand first. Uh, so here it is. This is the line that's tangent to an arc. Uh, I'm going to use method one. You want to follow along with your book or take a look at these notes. I have my uh, drawing um, uh, taped down. And uh, hopefully that light will show correctly there. Now I'm going to use the uh, uh, instructions written in the book uh, for tangent one. I was very tempted to try to just draw it like that right there. But let's try to use uh, the instructions as they're um, provided in this chapter. Um, so first, we want to find um, the midpoint. Um, well, first we have to draw a line uh, between the center line and A. Center point of the circle and A. So we find that. Now we want to find the midpoint um, of these by bisecting this line. Something that we should be getting used to by now. Really need some like music in the background, right? And okay, so we bisect this line. There you go. There's the midpoint, and then we will draw a um, circle. from the midpoint there to the center it comes out. You can do that onto there too. Okay. And now what we do is we've, what we've I done right here is we've identified that is the point at which there should be a tangency. Right there, and that line is now tangent. And boom, I kind of missed that point right there. But anyway, we've drawn tangent lines. And now we want to construct an arc uh, with a radius of 20 millimeters that is tangent to the arc, this arc, and the line. Okay? So when we have that situation uh, right there, Um, what we're going to do, let me see, let's take a look at um, the instructions. We want to follow this right here, right? So this is the similar one that uh, we're, we're taking, we're looking at. Um, we have this guy right here. We want 20 millimeters uh, with a radius of 20 millimeters. And uh, so if we look back over to here, this is what we do. Is we First off, we want that um, uh, uh, radius. Uh, that we want to use for right here, right? That's going to be, yeah, this is the radius of the uh, circle. So this is the 20 millimeters. Uh, we want to try, uh, we'll get this radius, but we want to subtract out that radius uh, from there. And, uh, and then draw an arc that passes through there. Then we take that radius and we take on two spots right here, we're able to draw a line that's a parallel. And where they cross right there. That's going to be the new center point. All right, so let's uh, try that one out. Okay, so first off, um, I think I'll draw a line over to the side. Maybe this is not 100% necessary, but I want to find 20 millimeters, so that's going to be 2 centimeters, right? So um, this is something that we could have done probably over to the side, but that right there is 20 millimeters, right? That's part of our goal is to uh, make something that's 20 millimeters. Um, so what we want to do is we want to subtract that out. And I'm trying to think, is there a way that I could subtract these two things? Well, first off, um, here is the radius uh, that I need to come to right here. 
So maybe what I want to do is um, these are lines that I could have made anywhere. And maybe um, I want to reconsider. I'm going to make this up above. This is like an auxiliary line that I'm going to do. So I'm going to make a long line right here. And I'm going to find 20 millimeters first off. This one's at 20 millimeters. So I'm going to uh, find a line right here and find 20 millimeters right here, right? And now I'm going to find this, right? So right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So I will. Right there, I've measured from here to here is that distance right here. So if I was going to subtract out, that would be from here to right here. So let me take that. And, you know, this is a lot of this is like the, the, the graphical method of uh, doing something that we could probably do. I mean, we kind of understand it. It's something we want to do. All right, so here is whoop, there you go. And now what we want to do is we want to draw this parallel line, right? So coming back and so that's what we've done. We've drawn this arc right here. Um, that is this radius minus this other radius. Now we want to go and find, uh, use this smaller radius again, and we're going to draw a line that makes it parallel through there. So I'm going to come back up here, and I am going to make my compass that dimension right there, right? Now it's at 20 millimeters. Um, so I'm going to make a line that's right here. And I'll put it over to here. It doesn't matter where Batsy goes. Okay. And this should be, if I had everything square, now I see I needed to make that right around there. I mean, it needed to come down all the way. So I messed that up. I didn't make that arc big enough. So let me um, fix that. Right, so I kind of wish I had done it correctly the first time. All right, so right there should be the center. And now we need to make the radius again. So I'm not, I messed up by messing up. Um, so actually it needs to be over here, right? So this is the location right here. And it didn't quite do it. Damn. Let's see. I, for one thing, let's do a better job of managing that point right there that's supposed to be like a should use some sandpaper or something to, to get that flat. And then so we get this precision here, right into there. And let me double check that I have that line correct. Yeah, this line right here could have been a little higher. Yeah. So there's a a degree of carefulness that I have to uh, admit to. You can't just be kind of really willy nilly with the. Um, so this line actually should be higher right here. Yeah, should be should be passing right through there. So that should be the location. And if I do it the correctly, yep, there you go. So there you go. That's what that should look like right here. So that it, see what happens is that this line right now, that guy is tangent to both this line 
in this arc. And you could see um, that I have made mistakes um, because I was a little careless with my uh, uh, dimensioning, with my, um, uh, let's see, dimensioning. I was a little careless with um, using my um, compass. So it's a lesson for you, what not to do. Anyway, I'm not going to erase all this up, but that's the, uh, that's the idea. The next we're going to do is a very common uh, task. Um, now, honestly, I think that we could actually um, benefit from, we could have just as easily, I think, and simply found a, um, our template here and found the right size, although this is uh, not metric right here. This is actually uh, inches right here. But we could actually have tried to figure out a circle that would have landed like right in there and would have been tangent onto the things, right? And the same thing from here, we want a 32 millimeter radius. What we could do is we could just look and see and find where those edges and draw the thing in there. And this is usually called a fillet. Right, not a fillet. It's F I L L E T, but it's fillet when we talk about it in these regards. And it's got a very simple command when we do the thing in um, AutoCAD. We'll see. But um, here, it's a uh, bit of a chore. So we're going to follow along and see what they tell us to do, and uh, to do it for this experience. And then we'll never have to ever do it again. Um, so the way that we do a fillet here is we make a parallel line using the technique that we just saw a minute ago. Here's the radius of that we need. And we make a parallel line and a parallel line. We find the intersection, and then we draw an arc at that intersection. And you know, you notice how the, their um, things disappear. Well, that's because uh, they've drawn it really, really uh, neatly, or really, really softly. So once again, I'll draw uh, like a little auxiliary line over here, 32 millimeters. And so that's, um, use my centimeter uh, thing right here and find and look really closely and take the glasses off to do that. Or if my head is in there, is my head in there? There it is, um, 32. There you go. All right, so let's set our compass to 32. Millimeters, dip, 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 dip. I'm gonna get it just right on there. Okay, so I'm gonna write two parallel lines is what I want to make. Well, better. There you go, right here. And right here, right. And they're very soft. And this actually should be lined up with the thing. And that looks about right. That should be 32 over there. Okay. And then um, I'll try it right here. You know, we, we might even want to uh, erase, just barely erase these, like, you know, to, to not, you know, just kind of ghost them out here. They're, they're just so they're, I, I, I don't confuse the lines I want with the lines that I have here. And this is a, this is a tough one right here. Uh, maybe I'll go right up to B. And I want to try to see where these are at. Seems to me this is a sort of a fool's game, but that's what I mean. And I'm going to look closer at that. Really get in there. Of course, we're always trying to account for the pencil lead, the width of the pencil lead. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. And messing everything up by having to erase, but that's why I have erasure shield sometimes. So, yeah, we're not that great. But, So I didn't quite get it. I think it's kind of stuck up in there. Hmm, it's close. That right there is going to be like the intersection point that we're predicting. See how close we can get. 
we might have to make a little bit of an allowance here. We're off by just a little bit. It's all about that pencil in. Oops. And go, oh, and it still didn't, do, didn't quite do it. Dang. Uh, yeah, well, that's where it's supposed to be. Doesn't look great. And if you were, I might even be tempted to uh, kind of try to draw, sketch a line right in there to show you where it's supposed to be. And this one should be perpendicular, actually, because it's a straight line. So. This is where it should have landed. Right there, that's where it should have landed. But it didn't. If you, if I were to zoom into there, you would definitely see that that is not a, um, it's not perfect enough. We have to, we have to do better than that. Aren't you glad that we don't have to do hand drafting like uh, all the time, like for every draw that we ever, ever need? Ah, there you go. It's five o'clock somewhere. All right, so um, next thing. We do. This is a long video. We have 16 minutes already. Um, let's close that guy down. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do arc is tangent to two circles. So the idea here is we're going to draw um, a, a, dot, a line here that is this radius plus this radius excuse me, and uh, we're going to draw a radius line here that's um, this radius minus that radius, okay? So um, we want to add, we want to add R to this radius, and then we want to actually 2 add R to 2 radius, R to radius. I think it's actually we should subtract, right? Okay, well, let's try it out. Um, so I'm going to make my little auxiliary line for measuring things like right there. And first off, we have this right here, right? Actually, I might make two of them. I'm going to make two of them. Um, these are just for trying to under, try, trying to measure these things out, right? So right here is this first guy. So that's going to be my top one. And that's how big he is. Now I want to take and I want to add 30 to him. So that's going to be three centimeters. Three centimeters. Now we want to draw from there to there. We're going to draw a line. Okay, just so you remember, whoops, oh man, I wasn't showing that, was I? Darn, okay, so I could edit that out, but hopefully you'll figure it out. Okay, show it again, my bad. Ah, uh, paying attention, paying attention. All right, I'm going to draw two lines over here. These are just like auxiliary lines to try to help myself out right there, right? And I'm going to make sure that they start at the exact right place. So, here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what this radius is. That looks about right. So I'm going to go right here from my very start, and I'm going to make a little mark. Unfortunately, 
It's very close to a mark. I accidentally didn't erase enough. So I'm going to erase that little mark. Yeah, there we go. I got, kind of got rid of it. Um, and now I want to take my 30 millimeters and add that to here. Oops, is that not? Uh, I think so. All right, so there's 30 millimeters uh, between here and there. So now I'm going to take my compass and extend it out to there. All right, so there's my new right there. That's this radius plus 30 millimeters. So I want to stick my arc and make it right there. Oh, come on. All right, these are construction lines. All right, so that's what I did right there was this. Right here, right? Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take, and I will actually want to subtract 30 millimeters from this radius right here. So I'm going to remember to do that here. I take and I find this distance right here. All right, so that distance... Right from there to there, I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to go down to the second line here, and that's the line that I want to go through. And now I want to take my 30 millimeters and that's going to go to it there. All right now, there up at that point. On the second line here, right? I want to make an arc. So that distance, okay, so what we've done right now is that this distance right here is going to be 30 millimeters. And this distance right here should be 30 millimeters, right? Looking down on here, where these two things intersect, that right there is going to be my center point. And I'm going to be able to make a 30 millimeter circle that's going to connect these. So it's going to be like this little S thing. That's, that's the end product, right? And so that's what they're trying to make this look like right here is to have something that's one radius and something is another radius, but then they're trying to make a radius that goes between them. Right, so this thing has a radius, this thing has a radius, and we want this one to have a radius. Uh, that's the that's that's the concept at least. So now where these two things intersect right here is going to be my radius, and hopefully, uh, and we could use either of these two things right here. I think right here is the thirty millimeters. Right, let me double check. I'll double check on here. Do we have this correct? That looks pretty good. Hopefully, right here. Oh boy, it didn't quite do it. Man, just a little off. Well, Gotta account for the pencil, right? There you go. So that's the idea right there, right? It went over to here, down to here. That's the that's the motion that we're trying to make. Right? And I had to um compensate ever so slightly because I didn't have it correct. One thing um, that's true in hand drafting is that you're not supposed to scale off of hand drawings. Um, it, actually, many drawings will have that written on there, do not scale. Um, because they don't want people to like base it on what's on the drawing. The drawing's supposed to communicate the thing, and sometimes they have to make some changes and they don't actually make the drawing uh, perfect to, to scale. They, they'll make a, a designation with dimensions is what you're supposed to do, but not supposed to scale off the drawings. All right, moving along, we have, and we want to make, construct an arc 
with a radius of 15 millimeters that is tangent to lines A and D. That is going to be like this right here. And we once again, we're going to do this parallel lines thing so that we could find the center. We're getting kind of the idea. Um, so all the only dimension we really need is that radius on there. So we'll, we'll do a uh, little auxiliary line over to the side. And we decided it was going to be 15 millimeters, right? So 1.5 centimeters. And so here we go. We'll make that little auxiliary line. And let's use our centimeters. Right there. That's 15 millimeters. And so I almost need to sharpen my lead, but I don't have any of that sandpaper. I used to give that to you in your drafting kit, a little piece of sandpaper to sharpen your leads. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to think I want to make two parallel lines. I could that are 15 millimeters apart. The arc here. The arc here. I don't want to do them all at once because we let's see them. There you go. Okay, we'll do the same thing up above. Let's make it all the way over to the side. Kind of making a little mess. That's all right. And here, and here. And the triangles. Let's move this guy up a little bit. And. There you go. That right there should be the center where those two things cross. And because they're, they're a very acute angle there, it's kind of really hard to pinpoint where that's supposed to be. So let's take a look here. Hmm. There you go, 15 millimeters, 15 millimeter radius right there. We've chopped this off. We're going to see how easy this is to do when we get into AutoCAD, the AutoCAD method. And then lastly, we want to construct an arc with a 30 millimeter radius that is tangent to these two perpendicular lines. So let's take a look at what they suggest here. And they want the radius. We take this radius, and we take that same radius, and we figure out a place to draw a line through. And then that right there becomes the place where we go and we take these two lines. All right, so let's try that out. Um, I'm going to put a little reference line over here for my 30 millimeters. Take my metric ruler and there's 30 millimeters we could have just as easily just gone up like this right here by the way 30 like that but i was trying to make it look like what they do on, on the uh, in the book okay so i have my arc right here and then I will take make an arc and an arc and right there that's the uh, center point of this thing and then therefore I should be able to connect that right there And let's move that just a little bit. I'm going to leave it there because we want to be able to evidence that we drew it correctly. But that right there puts the fillet, let's move the mouse, puts the fillet that's tangent to both of those lines. 
Now let's take a look how to do this in AutoCAD. We're going to see that there's actually some pretty easy methods. Oh, and by the way, we didn't do this all the way so in the last one. So make sure we do this, right? Um, let's go ahead and, well, I'll use this. Um, I want to make, um, this seems about the si right size to me. I'm going to make th uh, uh, three eighths. Yeah, I'll make three eighths. No, three sixteenths. One, two, three. These are the sixteenths. Okay. So I will make it a sixteenth off of the line. And a sixteenth. So now that's three sixteenths high. And I don't need those big gold spots. I'll write her name. Doctor. Deal. And the whole reason why I got a PhD is just so I could write down Dr. Deal. Someone annoyed me the other day on the telephone. And they were talking to me and they said, Mr. Deal. And it was probably the first time I think I've ever done it. And I was serious. Most of the time I do as a joke. I corrected them. It was obnoxious, I admit. But... I'm not a perfect person. I fail. Okay, so let's take a look at this in AutoCAD. Uh, that was the one that we just did here a little bit ago. I'll get rid of him. I didn't save him. Here's the one called Tangencies number six. Yes. Okay. So you're going to find this is like really easy. We're going to create a line. Okay, wait. we got to change the uh, layer. Let's change the layer to student work. We're going to look, write a line. Create that line. It looks like um, the object snaps are off. Is that right? Okay, turn the object snaps on. I'm going to go to intersection in this one. Right, let's go to intersection. You can see that's what intersection looks like. And ortho is on too. So let's turn ortho off. There you go. And look, I already had the tangent. I had already had the tangent snap on there. Look. And that, that's up here. See that tangent snap? Boom. And easy enough, huh? Let's do that other line too while we're at it. Right there, went to that intersection. Boom, tangent. Done. Zoom in there. Zoom in. You can just keep zooming in. You can see that it's perfectly tangent. So much easier to do in AutoCAD, huh? Um, here's one where we want to uh, do that arc, right? We want an arc. So here's what we do. We want to draw a circle that uh, is tangent to both this line and this line, but it has a radius. So that's the idea is called tan tan radius. Well, if you go to the circles, we don't want to really use this one. We could, well, maybe we'll do it both ways. Uh, we'll go to the circle and we could pull down onto the ribbon. You'll see there is one that's a tan tan radius. So we click on that and go tan tan and then type in what's it supposed to be 20? Boom. And they make a circle that's right in there. Now if you were um, okay so uh, another way we could do the same thing with different commands. Circle. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go draw circle tan tan radius tan tan type in 20 boom but if we did find ourselves not recognizing that and wanting us to be two bars i click on this guy and i'll notice tan tan radius is one of my choices uh so i think it's a capital t right there that makes that decision so we could just type t and then tan tan and 20. Boom. Any way you want to do it. Now, they only want an arc right here, and we've drawn a circle. So let's be good uh, shepherds here and do what they're told. Let's go to the trim and trim off the rest of this. So um, I can do it. Let me do cutting edge, right? So I'm going to do uh, cutting edges, 
and we're going to use that edge and we're going to use this edge and hit enter boom and there's our arc if you want to, you can't you might want to trim off this guy right here see trim off this edge and trim off this edge right here now i'm going to show you a shortcut boom it's a really nice shortcut um looking for it right here it is see that guy right there we can make a fillet this is technically a fillet so once you click fillet it's going to ask you uh well you want to set the radius first right so the radius i hit radius and hit 20 boom and then i click this guy and that guy and look at that they made it perfect right there right and of course you know and and they made the new thing this the, to match the uh lay the layers of the of the old thing All right so i want that i want that to show off that student work so you could do this either of those ways and how simple is that all right so this is going to be along the same lines we want a 32 millimeter arc in between there well guess what this guy you want that radius though because it's good right now it's set the rate the fillet radius is set to the last one we do so we want to hit radius again and write uh 32 boom and when we do it boom boom look at that that's the uh and i want to i want you to show that it's uh student work so i i grabbed a hold of it selected it changed its layers this one you can't do in that method. So this one actually is a tan tan radius. This one you need to do tan tan radius. I don't think you'd be able to do. Let me try it. Let me try it. I'll try it and then undo. That's one of the beauties here. We want you to explore. Um, so here's the radius. It's supposed to be 30 millimeters. Enter. And now what if I were to try that and that? Boom. That did it right there right but uh, if you needed to do it in another way we could enter in the circle um, I'm gonna come down and pull out this guy tan tan radius and I go tan tan and then 30 millimeters boom right and then if you wanted to trim the thing off we would take trim command and so nope we want to do the cutting edge thing right we want to do cutting edge boom cutting edge and trim this use this or oh, not trim this but use those as the cutting enter boom we're left with that and then if we wanted to cut the other things whoop i accidentally did that so that yeah, uh, no, was not good i forgot to hit uh the, the other command there it's been a little while huh? boom Hit the trim, hit the cutting trim. So I right click and I can get those things too, those, those commands. And let's see. Nope, I did. I messed that up. So hit hit escape. Um, what was I trying to do? Oh yeah, I was trying to make it into that S thing. That's what I was trying to do. So I'm gonna use this. Oh yeah, I did it again. Darn it. Trim. And then right click and hit cutting edges so this becomes the cutting edge hit enter and then i could click that and that right and so now you see that's the point of the thing right is to do that right here but it's so much simpler just to use fillet uh once again this is a good fill this is another fillet one we'll just do it with the fillet might as well um so we go to the fillet and uh we want radius right we need the radius so i can right click by the way and get to radius and then go 15. and so I go to there and go to there and look what you did let's select this and make it there you go student work and then lastly you get the idea this is pretty easy that fillet stuff and we go radius on the thing and go 30 boom 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 
And then we're only doing this, uh, changing the layer here so that we could just identify, just to emphasize, this is what we did. You know, we were started off with one place and ended another. And then remember that I want you to uh, put your name onto this. And what we could have done, uh, we could have copied uh, that other thing and pasted it into here. Um, but let's instead uh, uh, make a te text and we go single line text, single ladies, all the single ladies. Um, right here and um, you know I really should uh, put this a certain distance off of there so I'm going to introduce you to a new command and it's the offset command and I use it all the time so offset um, you can just click stuff but you also you can specify the distance so the distance I want to go is I think I can do this 1 16th is it gonna let me do that Yep, it does. Okay, so I'm going to be able to offset this 1 16th of an inch. It didn't do it. Okay, why not? Okay, so I think it's auto. It might be. Oh, there you go. That's 1 16th of an inch. Uh, that's like w wicked small, apparently. Oh, because this is in millimeters. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. I set this up. I mean, we've been doing everything, typing everything in millimeters. I've set the units as millimeters. So if it's millimeters, let's take it, let's see, 12 millimeters or 12.5, 12.7, actually, 12 is uh, one half of an inch. 6.35 is one quarter of an inch. So one sixteenth of an inch. Let's see, let's put this in here. One sixteenth of an inch is uh, three point, uh, I just forgot, wait, I'll write it out, I have my calculator, um, 25.4 divided by 16, 25.4 divided by 16 is 1.5875, so we go 1 1.87, 1.587, 1.5875, boom, and could have just made it two. Boom. Okay, that's what I expected. And so, like, now we want to make, let's make it six millimeters tall. That's a good idea for our text. So I'm going to click on there, single line text, and I want to put it somewhere on here. So I'm going to put it near, I'm going to go to nearest. That's a really good thing. So you see this guy? And it'll just put it anywhere onto there, the nearest. And then I will go six millimeters high and with zero rotation. And then I will write doctor, whoop, deal. That, that was a little big. That ends up being a little larger than I had hoped for, right? I didn't want it to touch right up there. So um, maybe I wanted to make this line a little smaller right here, right? So what I could have done in my offset, I'll just make it one millimeter. Okay. And now I can bring this down. I can just grab this handle. And I'll just go perpendicular with this. Perpendicular. Boom. Okay. And escape, escape, escape. And I'll get rid of this line. But that offset command is very useful for lots and lots of things. I probably use that for uh, way more than I should. Okay, so I grab a hold and I just copy the thing over. I want to stick my ortho back on. Um, it's kind of a little big actually this thing. I think I think I might actually need to pick a, dick, a smaller text size. Oh, I could show you something with this. Oh, that'd be interesting. Um, so we have something in the edit. There's somewhere in the modify. I think there's the text edit. Uh, no, it's not down there. Modify down here is text edit. Where's text edit? Uh, where'd you go? It's weird because I never find that. It's actually a toolbar that I kind of like. I prefer. Once you have the toolbar set up, by the way, you can always like right click on the toolbars and grab them up. It's actually on modify two. There is a text edit. I think. I don't see it now. Oh, you're making a liar on me. Way to go. That's nice. There's a text edit somewhere. It's not on here. Yeah, I don't. It's a hatch edit. It was definitely a useful thing. I think it's under text right here. Let's go down to. There's a uh, text. There he is. Okay. You don't see him very many places right there. The text edit. Come on, hover over you. Edit. 
and uh, we go 9 slash 11 slash 20. Whoop, 20. And that's a little big, actually. It's a little wider than we want. We go edit, enter, we're done. Um, if you wanted, actually, you could, you could do some stuff. You can change the width factor onto this thing. It's kind of a nice thing to do. So, so you see the height right here under the properties. Uh, we have a width factor. We can go 0.8. Boom. You see, and it scrunched it in. Sometimes when you got to fit some text in, that's a really nice feature. So let's see. Finishing up, we will now, we should save it under a name, right? And as I've told you in here, I want you to save it as, boom, save it as your last name, homework 3A as a drawing, and then print the thing out. And I've already sent it up to print. It's a little different this time. 45 minutes uh, um, for the thing. It's a little different this time uh, because uh, get out of here. Um, and maybe I, I like this modify, so I'm gonna stick them down here. I use them a lot. That text. Uh, let's print or plot. Um, and you'll notice that I did fit to paper and that my scale was 1 to 25.4. That's because I set this whole thing up so that it would be in metric. Um, but let's take a, a look, a preview look. It's always a good uh, policy to see what we're getting. And yes, you could definitely see that it is the thingy that we wanted to do. Um, so we hit this and we write uh, D I E H L homework 3a and boom and then we want to check it see what it looks like homework 3a preview of the thing oh look at that beautiful work that we did look at that smooth thing and it doesn't really matter it didn't even matter what colors they were right when everything was said and done uh, one aspect that I didn't point out to you is that I do have there is line weight uh, settings uh, that can be done and you might even see them well, you can't even see them uh, but they're usually done with layers right that's how we uh, control so if I go to this layers control the layers property manager which is just to the left of that layers thing and then you could see that we could make a line weight right so I I've made actually the border one that's uh, called borders right here I've made it blue but I've also made the line weight to be 0.3 millimeters um, and I think that you didn't really see that in my scan. Yeah, you, the borders don't look like any different. So what I did, I kind of messed up when I was plotting. And I forget to do this sometimes. Go to plot and scale line weights. There you go. Scale line weights. How come it's not doing it here? Oh, that's interesting. It's not scaling line weights. Uh, made a liar on me. Anyway, um, you should set the thing up into the correct units anyway. But anyway, so that's uh, 45 minutes you're never getting back. 48 minutes you're never getting back. Um, so we're going to go done.